What is up YouTube, welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna go over what you guys are telling me is the best budget wireless gaming headset that's currently out on the market. Now I thought we covered this with the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless gaming headset review that we did on the channel here a couple of months ago, but according to you guys, there's a new sheriff in town and it's the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Arrow. Now we all know Turtle Beach is a household name when it comes to gaming, especially when you have the most ruthless competitor in the gaming industry wearing your brand. But it's gonna take more than that. For it to be a great gaming headset, it has to be affordable. The price? $100. Check. It also has to be somewhat portable, and this headset folds completely with one ear cup into the other. Check, check. Initially when I picked it up, I definitely thought to myself, it is a bit on the bulkier side, but that hasn't stopped me before. It's super easy to connect. It comes with a USB Bluetooth transmitter, which connected without any issues for me. For now, it's only compatible with PC, so you won't be able to game on your Mac or any other computer-based software with this headset. Another super important part when picking out an Elite gaming headset is having the ability to customize and modify audio settings with software that hopefully the headset comes with. Not only does it come with that software, the software gives you so many options for customization that it's actually sickening. You can create your own presets, mess with sliders for equalization, with dedicated preset modes that actually increase the sounds of footsteps when you're playing competitive. You can also assign your own macro profiles at the push of a key based on what game you're playing. Check, check, check. For design, the headset looks and feels like a gaming headset. It's got a sturdy frame and a metal bridge that connects both ear cups. It definitely is a bit on the heavier side, and actually, to be honest, it probably is the heaviest headset I've ever tested here on the channel. The ear cups use gel-infused memory foam that feels like an athletic fabric. I do have a larger head, so it did sit pretty tight for me in my longer gaming sessions. Even with the padding suspended under the metal headband, they felt somewhat tight after a few hours of gaming with them. On the left ear cup, you get pretty much all of your options and controls. You have an on-off button, a button for the superhuman hearing mode, the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, your volume wheel for both the audio and the microphone, and finally your micro USB port for charging. Now the battery life is advertised at 30 plus hours on a full charge according to Turtle Beach. Now in my personal testing, I didn't get over 15 to 20 hours while using this gaming headset and I use it strictly for gaming. If you guys are watching movies on it or listening to music, you might get a little bit more but I feel like this is the first for me testing out a gaming headset where it didn't even come close to that advertised battery life. Listening to music and watching movies, I did get nice crisp clear audio, mids, highs, and lows across the board sounded really good for a gaming headset in this price range. Getting into probably the best part of this headset is turning on the superhuman hearing option. Now when doing this, it slightly lowers the audio quality, but my God, you can hear footsteps from a mile away, which can definitely give you guys a serious advantage in games like Call of Duty Warzone and Apex Legends. I've never tested a gaming headset with this kind of feature before and it exceeded my expectations when it came to competitive gaming. Now the microphone on this headset is detachable so if you guys want to talk to your friends on Discord or in party chat or anything else like that using your studio microphone you can go ahead and just use the headset if you'd like and just take the microphone off. So as you guys know we are currently up here in the game room. This is a soundproof room and currently I'm talking to you guys on the Rode NT1 studio microphone. Let's go ahead and switch over to the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Arrow to see what the microphone quality sounds like on that headset. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Arrow. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you guys subscribe. And only if you guys end up liking this video, please make sure you guys go ahead and destroy that like button for me. Now let's go ahead and compare the microphone quality on this headset to the Corsair Virtuoso, which is a much more expensive wireless gaming headset. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero. This is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Corsair Virtuoso gaming headset. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero. Once again, this is what the microphone quality sounds like on the Corsair Virtuoso gaming headset. My God, switching over to the Corsair Virtuoso from the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero, you notice how much of a weight difference you get with this headset versus the Turtle Beach headset. It's just night and day. This headset is close to two pounds, and even though it doesn't feel that heavy in your hands, you definitely notice the difference when you put it on your head. It literally feels like you're wearing half the headset when you switch over to this Corsair Virtuoso, and it's so much more comfortable. You get what you pay for, guys. You already know that. All right, guys, another test. Let's go ahead and switch over back to the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero to see how much keyboard clicking the microphone on that headset actually picks up. All right, so keyboard is a foot and a half away. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely picking up keyboard clicks. Picking up even more when I start talking, obviously, because I have the noise gate set to a certain level. And once it picks up my voice, it picks up a little bit more. It definitely picks up a lot more keyboard clicking than I'd like. If you guys remember when we did the Razer Black Shark V2 and the V2X gaming headset review a couple of weeks ago, 
those two gaming headsets did not pick up any noise whatsoever from the microphone. Obviously this headset picks up a lot more than you'd want. That's the keyboard click test. Now, if you guys are wondering, the ear cups on this headset do swivel for you guys. So that's one thing that you guys are uh, thinking about. I know I didn't mention it earlier. The ear cups do swivel 90 degrees if you plan on wearing this headset around your neck. It's not that it looks bad or anything. I mean, it's obviously you get that cheaper design coming from the much more expensive Corsair Virtual So Gaming headset. But um, yeah, it just, it, it feels bulky, feels a lot heavier on your head. And in those longer gaming sessions, you really start to feel how tight this headset feels around your head if you have a much bigger head like I do. So I wanna throw that out for you guys. I wanna do the keyboard click test for you. And obviously do the microphone quality test here against the Corsair Virtual so you guys can get a good idea of what the microphone quality sounds like on this headset. All right, guys, really quick, I just wanted to go over the Turtle Beach Control Studio for you guys. Here on the left, you have your game, bass boost, your superhuman hearing, your firmware down here. You have your master mute settings. It'll let you know when you have that new firmware available to download, import, export game presets. Like I mentioned earlier, when we uh, were talking about the macros and the audio settings, your game dialogue level here, your game bass boost, treble boost, master volume. I like leaving mine probably the third or fourth one down because I feel like it does get a little bit louder than I want it to. Audio settings, you can play with a ton of stuff here. You have your game equalizer, chat equalizer, microphone equalizer, rumbles, explosions, anything that you guys hear in game, you can custom adjust here. And the superhuman hearing volume you have up here, 50%, set it to 100%. This is absolutely insane. I've never seen software come with a gaming headset that offers this much customization at your disposal to do pretty much anything you wanted to. When we did the HyperX Cloud Orbit S review a couple of weeks ago with the Audesi software, it kind of reminds me of the same interface that the Audesi software has. It's just this one, I feel like goes in much more detail. Here are those macros, 3D audio, bass boost, spatializers. I mean, you can spend hours here adjusting these settings to however you feel fit for based on whatever game you're playing so just wanted to go over this really quick for you guys so you can see what it looks like now this headset without a doubt is definitely worth the money if you guys are looking for a serious gaming headset in this price range i highly suggest you guys go ahead and check out the turtle beach elite atlas aero sure the microphone quality isn't the best in the industry but as far as overall gaming headset i feel like this is probably the best if not one of the best in its price range especially with that superhuman hearing that you guys get with this headset. It's something that I've never heard before in a gaming headset and definitely will give you guys a competitive advantage. I would take the SteelSeries Arctis 7 over this gaming headset because it looks a little bit better in my opinion. It's definitely lighter. And this one, because I have a big head, is a bit tighter on my head in those longer gaming sessions. So it did get a bit uncomfortable. Aside from the microphone quality falling into that mediocre category, it has all of the features I want and need for a really good price tag. And it's on sale right now for hundred bucks which is $50 less than the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless gaming headset. And for that reason alone, I'd recommend you guys give it a try. If this headset could be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit lighter, and have a nice sleek design, I would highly consider this as one of the best gaming headsets that I've ever tested out on the channel here. So Turtle Beach, if you guys are listening, if you guys are planning something here, coming out with the new PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X in the next couple of months, please make sure you guys take that into account. Links will be down below in the description for you guys if you would like to go ahead and purchase this headset. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever it is, make sure you guys go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section for me. If you guys did end up liking this video, please make sure you guys go ahead and destroy that like button for me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.